All right, I don't know how much time do I have right now, but um, I'll make use of um, whatever time I got. Uh, hey guys, what's up? It's the Culture Detective here, investigating your favorite places, and today I have to talk about um, Phuket, Thailand. So um, lately, I have been really interested in um, places again, so I thought I should do one of these videos again. Uh, monthly actually so um, I've been to um, Phuket Thailand twice so um, in case you don't know Thailand is a country in Southeast Asia uh, right on top of Malaysia uh, east of India west of Laos and Vietnam and south of China um, don't test me on geography. Anyways, um, apparently I've been to Bangkok when I was like very young, but I completely don't have any recollection of that. So I'm not going to talk about that. I, I, I'm not even sure if I've been to Bangkok before. I really want to though. But I'm going to talk about Phuket, which is this um, island, big island in the south. Um, big enough to be considered a province uh, slash region in Thailand and it's a it's a pretty hot spot for you know relaxing vacation Southeast Asian thing so um, I've been there twice one time in 2011 and one time in 2017 December uh, actually which is actually not that long ago so I do have some photos and videos of it, but when I was going there, I didn't think I would film a video about it, so I didn't film anything. Um, for the 2011 Phuket Thailand trip, I went there with my aunt's family and, and my own family, of course. And the only footage I have of that trip I'm having paranoia right now. The only footage that I have of that trip is basically my cousins jumping up and down on a, a bed in a hotel room and me just being dumb. And then uh, we have the 2017 one, which is probably the worst trip I have ever been to. It is actually terrible. Uh, but it's nothing. Uh, it's, it's not because... Thailand is a terrible place or that Phuket is a terrible place, but I generally had a pretty terrible experience there um, I guess because of the stress because of the exam that uh, Would be happening in the start of 2018 and also the fact that I'm going to Phuket Thailand with my family and my mom's friends families aka five families and and the adults in the families are all my mom's and dad's friends and their kids are all my younger brother's friend and I'm kind of in between and I have no one to talk to. I'm bored. I don't get to choose where to go. I don't, kick, I don't get to choose what to eat. And it was kind of a terrible experience. But Thailand is a pretty special country for me at the same time because I know someone in my school who is actually half Thai, half Hong Konger and she's an interesting person and so Phuket and I'm gonna talk about the 2017 one because I completely forgot about the 2011 one uh, other than um, me um, of course if you go to uh, Phuket Thailand you're gonna have to stay uh, well chances are you're staying at the very iconic Marriott Hotel Resort North um, of the Phuket Island and chances are you've been to the swimming pool and when I was playing at that swimming pool when I was eight I tried to slide down the slide um, with my back facing the sky and at the end of the slide when there was a small bump I accidentally hit my head against the slide and my teeth um uh incisors my uh up up incisors top incisors uh broke 
basically. And I, I was bleeding a lot. And I went to a dentist in Phuket, Thailand because of that. So I remember that. I remember that very well. But other than that, let's talk about 2017. So starting off with December 23rd, 2017, aka day one of the Phuket, Thailand trip in the morning, me, my family, my family's friends, we all gathered in the Hong Kong airport and we took a flight to Phuket. Yay. And um, I'm looking for photos right now. There we go. This is Phuket. And upon arrival, we, um, we rented a car, I think, or maybe we took a taxi. And we, we went to the very, very iconic and famous Marriott Resort. Uh, of Phuket, which is actually incredibly huge. Um, there's the Marriott, um, it's like a resort where there are huge hotel rooms with huge bathrooms, and there are all these houses everywhere, and there's a giant swimming pool, swimming pools, there's a huge beach called the Mai Cow Beach, and there are other resorts that are also in the same Marriott uh, corporation, it's, it's a huge place and it's right beside the the airport and um, honestly I like that place I actually think it's um it's really um, resort it, it it really feels like a resort maybe I haven't been to enough uh, resorts in my life uh, but uh, you know you get the very sunny skies the blue waters the beach and it has this very nice, just laid back exotic vibe that a lot of people uh, stay there for. Anyways, um, for the rest of day one, we didn't really go anywhere. We settled down. We, I think we had lunch there. Did we? I forgot. Um, I, I forgot. I actually forgot. No, I think, I think we did. I think, I think we did. There are tons of restaurants in that resort complex. And a lot of them are actually pretty good. And then we didn't do anything special on that day. And at night we went to, um, well, the kids stay in the resort. Um, uh, of course, accompanied with um, helps. And the adults, uh, plus me, we went to a nearby restaurant called the Kindi restaurant. And um, yeah. It was it's, it's this pretty small restaurant that um, that is that has a lot of flies. I mean, uh, Phuket in general has a lot of flies and mosquitoes. Um, but um, you know, we we were packed. We were geared with a lot of you know uh, mosquito repellent um, substances, and we had dinner there, and it's just okay and I forgot to talk about um, um, before uh, we went off to the kindy restaurant we were beside the swimming pool that I broke my teeth in and we had snacks beside the swimming pool this little other restaurant beside the swimming pool which is also pretty nice but that's just it anyways let's move over to day two in the morning we went to the my cow beach and um, of course the kids are having fun in the water building sand castles yay and the adults are you know sort of on the beach sort of looking at the kids taking photos doing their own thing and i didn't do anything i mean i took some really cool photos but i didn't really do anything uh, some of the moms are having massages some of the dads are are sleeping and um, i did nothing <laughs> Uh, why? Um, but uh, yeah, yeah, it's still pretty good. And then, of course, after visiting the beach, we walked back to the hotel room in the Marriott Vacation Club. And um, we decided to go to a nearby village. There's something really special about the resort complex. 
and that is um it's so big that you can actually um call a a buggy a buggy yeah which is like a this the, the small shuttle bus of the resort um and and you can take that buggy slash gypsy jipney <laughs> i got it all confused uh small jimney and, and you could go to other parts of that resort complex and we went to the turtle village which is a a, a bit more urban but just as exotic and as resorty as the uh, vacation resort itself and there's a restaurant in the turtle village and it's called the coffee club and this is one of the best restaurants in southeast asia i've ever been to uh, maybe it's because i haven't been to that many restaurants there but but this is amazing i mean there's just a variety of food and they all taste really great. But my favorite part about this meal, this lunch that I had there, is that uh, I had probably the best drink I had in my life. Which is a caramel milkshake, but it looks glorious. Uh, it looks epic. I took multiple photos of it. And as you can see, it's big. It's a big glass jar with caramel. And on top of it, we have cream with caramel popcorn with peanuts sprinkled on top and just caramel, I guess, syrup, sugar glass just spilling off and consolidating. And it's freaking fantastic. I love this drink and it is one of my favorite drinks I've ever had in my life, period. Uh, this, this drink is so memorable uh, whenever I think about drinks I had. Um, in other countries this is the first one that comes up to mind and then afterwards i think uh, according to my schedule uh, according to my calendar we went back to the resort and celebrated a birthday apparently one of my mom's friend's daughters had a birthday there so there's that and i don't really care for that at all um the cake is pretty nice i guess Afterwards, the fun really actually starts. We went all the way to the southern part of the island where it is called Wichit. I don't speak Thai. Leave me alone. Wichit, and we went to a mall called Central Festival Phuket. Um, you are dead wrong if you think Phuket is this really exotic, um, very natural, rural island. Uh, there are actually a lot of urban parts, very modern city parts of the island as well, and also a lot of jungly countryside parts of the island as well. And the uh, southern part of the um, the island, the Phuket Island, is one of the more modern parts of the island, and it feels, uh, while it's not super developed, uh, it feels more like a city, and we went to this pretty cool-looking, uh, very new, fresh mall called the Central Festival and uh, we bought stuff there uh, everyone went there all the kids and all the adults and we all split up and we all went to uh, you know different shops just to buy stuff um, we me and my family we went to a supermarket and uh, we just walked around and and then later on we met up together and then we we went back to uh, the, the giant truck that we we rented and um, yeah uh, it's a pretty normal mall i guess nothing all of that um exciting i'm trying to look for it uh yeah nothing nothing all that exciting um there are some chinese restaurants there and that's pretty much it um but before we got onto the truck and truck van i i got it all confused van before we went onto the van and went to our dinner location we actually got to check out the very famous night markets of Wichit before we we left and they are actually more fun and more cultural and more local than the very gentrified mall just my opinion uh but uh, the night markets uh they are pretty special lots of lights and uh, again pretty messy lots of um sh iron sheets and and you know just just products hanging 
on walls and stuff. Uh, but um, what came afterwards is uh, probably the best meal I had in the trip. And that is the Trisara Seafood in uh, Choeng Tale. And we were on the van and we drove all the way to the west side of the Phuket Island, just a little bit more south than the uh, Marriott Vacation Resort. And in there, we had dinner, and this is a very expensive place. It looks super uh, high quality. It looks super luxurious and rich. And when we arrived there, it was already nighttime, and the the lightings there they are fantastic. And and we we took it took a it took us a long time to get to uh, our dinner place where there are actually tables, and uh, we had to cross over bridges and go into and out of different building complexes it's pretty awesome of course we have the local thai architecture which is pointy and um yeah pretty cool um, and after a bit of um com confusions uh we managed to actually sit down and and have dinner there because apparently we weren't supposed to be there when we arrived we had to pre-book it but uh, according to my mom's friends they did book it but according to the place's manager they didn't Anyways, at the end, we actually sat down and had our food, and it was actually kind of great. The salad is pretty good. We have this, I think it's shrimp with, um, I don't know. It, it, I remember that this is a great meal. I had my pineapple juice because I wasn't an adult yet and I couldn't drink. I had lots of food. Um, the, um, this is a vegetable that I'm pretty sure um, the USA doesn't have, and that is, um, I don't even know what it's called in, in English, but it's um, tong choy in Cantonese and gang gong in Indonesian. And you can um, cook it with garlic and it tastes good, and you can also cook it with shrimp paste, which may not be, you know, anyone's taste, but um, it tastes good. Shrimp, shrimp is great and um that is the dinner yay all right day three aka december 25th it's christmas day and it is one of the worst christmases i've had in my life probably because not only uh do i not even leave the resort throughout the whole day i basically did nothing but revising the whole day and i couldn't even speak to my friends uh well i could but uh every all my friends are busy having fun in Hong Kong, hanging out, and I just look at those posts on Instagram, feeling like an absolute loser, and at the same time, I have to do revision for the exams. I brought a shit ton of books, textbooks, worksheets, assignments, all over there uh, just to do revision, and I do that every day for hours straight. And uh, all the people around me are either adults who are just, you know, my mom's friends, my parents' friends, or they are just kids. Kids who listen to Jake Paul's music. So it was really frustrating. Um, in the morning, I had some eggs, ham and eggs, in the uh, resort. And, um, and then afterwards, I did my revision, do my own thing, and sort of went to... Um, yeah, and, and sort of, sort of just stayed. Apparently, and then afterwards, um, I had lunch, and again we took the uh, little shuttle buggy shuttle jeepney thing, and we went to another uh, village nearby, uh, where uh, we see gigantic swimming pools with a lot of really well designed complex. Uh, restaurants and, and shops and stores and we got the beach and it looks great and we went to this restaurant called the Siam Delhi and uh, we, we are still in the Marriott Resort by the way um, but it, it was a great lunch actually actually it was tasty we had Indian food and it tastes pretty great and then afterwards we went back to the resort and we stayed and I did revision and it was boring and then at the end of the day 
uh, everyone gathered in one room and we had a spiritual, meaningful talk about, you know, oh, it's Christmas, let's talk about, you know, what to thank for in our lives. And it was stupid. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I, I like Christmas, but this is not a good Christmas. Anyways, uh, things turned for the better on day four, where um, in the uh, in the noon afternoon or was it the morning? I, I completely forgot. I think I think it was um, both in the morning and afternoon. We went to a place that's nearby my cow, uh, the Marriott uh, Resort vacation place, but a little bit farther away, and that is the Splash Jungle water park which is now my favorite place in thailand so far the fa my favorite place that i've been to in thailand the splash jungle water park where it's this really fun water park with gigantic slides and um gigantic slides and, and a lot of water of course and uh, you know i'm not the kind of guy who would you know risk my my life and, and play these huge slides and, and have fun and be all cool about it. But um, in the midst of the very intense and frustrating revision, I decided to just let go of myself and have some fun. And indeed, I had fun. I actually played every single slide and it was really, really fun. It was a blast. And there were just, just lots of tall slides, huge slides. There were just, you know, very twisty and turny there are uh, slides that are very tall and there are slides where i just can't see anything because this the, the tube of the slide is is like very dense so i couldn't see anything until i reached the bottom and hit hit the pool and <laughs> there are slides where i and some other people are sitting on this this um thing cushion hmm? And we just slide down and it's awesome and I had a lot of fun there and I didn't break my teeth there which is awesome and uh, in the middle of it um I just sat down and had some chicken wings I think but uh yeah I had a lot of fun and um, I just had a really memorable experience in fact this day December 26th is in my best days of 26 2018 video so there's that and then of course afterwards nothing all that interesting happens we went back to the coffee club again a restaurant that i really love a lot and uh, i don't mind going there the second time even though i wish you know we could have gone somewhere else somewhere new somewhere more interesting but since everybody thinks that this is a safe place to have dinner in so we did and it was um it was good yay and then afterwards we bought some ice cream and we went back to our resort and that's basically day four and then we have day five where um we basically we thought we were going to have um lunch in uh J double in the jw part of the of the resort complex so we took the shuttle thing there and then we realized that it's not you know we changed our minds i guess so we went back again so we had lunch in the coffee club again for fuck's sakes the third time i get it it's a good restaurant it's a great restaurant the drinks there they're fantastic um but come on, the third time, really? Um, so yeah, I, I didn't eat anything for, for that meal. I, I, I didn't eat anything. But uh, yeah, I mean, sure, I have been to uh, restaurants for 20, 30 times. The same one for 20, 30 times before because I have no options when I am, you know, in my school and I had to go out and go to somewhere nearby to have lunch but uh, this is an exception i'm in a trip i'm in uh, a country that i don't go to all the time and i just want to try something new so it was disappointing for me 
Uh, and then afterwards, we I guess we rested a little bit and then we decided to head out again. Yay, finally something interesting. And we went to the upside down house in Pattaya, in Nam, in, in Na Chom Tian. Na Chom Tian. And um, it was a pretty famous tourist attraction in Phuket, Thailand, and it's in the middle, it's in the center of the island. Uh, n uh, sort of in between the northern parts with Mai Kau and the Marriott Resort and the airport and the water park and the southern part which is the you know the widget and the mall and the night markets and this is a pretty cool little upside down house in the middle of a rather rural place beside the highway and uh, I guess it's pretty interesting there's nothing all that crazy about this house I mean there's you can take a lot of cool photos in the house, though. Um, yeah, but uh, other than that, it's 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 all right. And I went to this house and in a little um, cafe, not really a cafe, in a little restaurant, not really a restaurant either. Convenience store, I guess, a little place nearby. I had a drink, and we left. Yay! And then afterwards, um. Finally, another highlight in the trip, and that is uh, we went to Pa Tong, which is in the uh, also in the west part of the island, but the southwest part, which is um, south of the Trisara Seafood Restaurant. So we went to Pa Tong, and it is the most urban, modern city-like area in, in Phuket I have ever stumbled upon. And uh, yeah, Pa Tong Beach, I remember um, in 2011, apparently I have been there and uh, my cousin almost get washed up by the waves, but we didn't go to the beach for uh, Pa Tong. We went there to check out the mall that is Jong Si Lon and we had dinner nearby. And first, let's talk about the mall. Just like the mall uh, we went to in Wichit, it's a pretty... You know, pretty gentrified, pretty big mall that has a lot of stores and stuff. So we even went to a, a giant clothing store, which I forgot the name of. Um, I'm just looking at it right now. And then I we, we went to uh, some really nice walks. And it actually looks great. And again, all the families, we all split up and we, we sort of do our own thing. And we had the, apparently the... Uh, I think durian ice cream. I think this is durian ice cream. I don't know. Um, but um, yeah, it's definitely durian. And um, not many people in this world likes durian. No, I take that back. Um, not all Americans and or Europeans or Africans um, or I guess Western Asians like durian. It's a Southeast Asian thing. Of course, I'm cool with it. I eat that. Um, sometimes from time to time and um, you know for the durian haters um, I mean I get why you hate durian it, it smells a little little strange um, but um, it actually doesn't smell that bad nor taste that bad um, when you put it in your mouth you know you get a strong taste which is actually not that strong, but for some people it's very strong apparently. And then we have the aftertaste, which is actually very sweet. Durian is, is good. I don't think it's one of the greatest fruits of all times, but honestly, it's not bad. It's not bad. And if you go to Southeast Asia, you have to try their durian. Their durians are the best. Um, but uh, yeah. Anyways, afterwards, um, we had dinner in the Tiger Inn restaurant. And it is the scariest restaurant I've ever been to in my life. Um, it looks like, um, in the restaurant, it looks like we're in the middle of a weird wooden uh, place, hut, not a hut. But it's just very, uh, it's horrifying. With all the tigers staring at us with, with red lights coming out of their eyes, it's, it's horrifying. It looks like they're having an orgy. Um, I called this the orgy on my calendar. Um, it, it's 
horrifying. It, it truly is horrifying. And we had uh, a lot of seafood there. And if you have a terrible immune system, I suggest you bring some antibiotics with you. Uh, uh, you know, because, you know, the seafood here, they're, they're crazy. There's some crazy seafood. And, you know, if you get food poisoning uh, somehow, uh, you're, it's not good. It's bad news. Um, but uh, yeah, we went to Tiger Restaurant, and after going to Tiger Restaurant, we went back to Jong Silon to buy some more stuff, and then we left Patong. But that's basically it. That's basically what happened on that day. And uh, yeah, I still remember the shrimp, the squid, the the oysters, the crab. Um, yeah, it was. Um, I even had recorded videos Ooh, that's lobster damn that's good that's a good lobster uh um yeah yeah anyways um anyways day seven i had a donut for breakfast apparently and then we just left and we went to the airport and went back to hong kong and that's it so yeah, other than Pa Tong and the uh, water park and uh, the drink at the coffee club and the uh, nice looking resort and the Trisara seafood, this trip is actually pretty, I guess, uneventful. And I really want to go back to Thailand and go to somewhere more interesting. And may maybe I can return to Phuket and, and return to these places or go, go to somewhere else. But um, this is not one of the best trips I've ever had. And this might be one of the worst ones. Uh, but still, I look forward to returning. And I am interested because, again, you know, uh, the language in Thailand is weird. Um, it's a tonal language similar to Cantonese. The tones of Thai, very similar to Cantonese. It almost sounds like they're trying to speak Cantonese, but they're actually not. And uh, maybe it's just Phuket, but uh, there are a lot of flies and mosquitoes there. Uh, again, the seafood there is crazy. So I suggest bringing antibiotics there. And, um, yeah, Phuket is not bad. It's not bad. You know, it's pretty cool. So, uh, yeah, that's all I have to say about, about Phuket, Thailand. I mean, you get the elephants drawings and elephant-shaped towels in the Marriage, uh, Marriage Marriott uh, Resort. And, and, and they're great. And you get the very pointy houses and and the golden uh, statues and, and Buddha statues here and there. Uh, but that's classic Thailand for you. So, um, yeah. what Have you been to Thailand? Have you been to Phuket, Thailand? Uh, comments below, let me know. And thanks for watching. Yay! And for my next Me Around the World video, I may talk about Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia, or Singapore. One of which.